I'm Skylar Wartman, uh, and I'm from Bellevue East. Thank you. And uh, this is how I found God. I never believed in a God. I believe in science, evidence, logic, fact. I've always been a science guy. I haven't seen God, heard God, or felt God, so why should I believe? But one day I found God. I found him hiding underneath the body of his son, and in between the rays of salty yellow sunshine. I wasn't in a church, nor was I reading the Bible. I was in a place with gentle angels, giving out words of knowledge and heavenly sights. I was in the gateway to heaven, a passage to the pearly gates. I didn't see St. Peter, but what I saw were faded memories. I saw my past and my deceased mother, who would take me to this place. I saw myself playing here with my friends and family. Something drew me here. I was a lamb being led to the pasture by a shepherd from my innards. I had been to this place before, but not for a while. I sat down, unknowing of the words I had ordered, but I opened it up and took a bite. The Big Mac was divine. The secret sauce was God itself whispering in my ear, its words imperceptible, and yet I understood it all. I could taste the kisses of angels and felt the warmth of heavenly light. The meat was juicy and succulent. I felt unworthy eating it, as if this were the forbidden fruit. A ray of light through the abyss of hunger. Finally, I understood God because I had tasted God. The second bite was as if I had fully been absolved of my sins. I felt enlightened. It was as if I had been possessed by a, one of Satan's minions, and this burger was the holy water needed to release it from my mortal being. This was it. This was God. I could hear him tell me to speak the words he could not. He told me to tell the good word of McDonald's to everyone. He told me to renounce false prophets like the horrible self-proclaimed king of burger. <laughs> he is no king. He is merely a wolf in sheep's clothing trying to taint our holy taste buds with fear and deceit. His lore is in God's children with his shape-shifting devils. The big king is merely a false Big Mac. It is, it is a deceiver, and so is the two-for-six deal for their monstrous food sermons. It is the fake McPick two-for-five, the best deal for sermons. The third bite left me with nothing. Nothing at all. I felt empty. I realized that God wasn't next to me anymore. He wasn't next to me because he was underneath me. He was carrying me to some place. He carried me, he carried me with arms stronger than the sweet taste of McDonald's Southern sweet iced tea. He was more beautiful than seeing freshly cooked french fries come out of the fryer. I was whisked away to a, a land where taste was boundless. There was no more tyrant king of burger, and there were no bells filled with tacos, and no, no five-headed demons known only as Guy. There was only me and millions of taste buds collectively engulfing in the sweet, savory nectars bestowed upon us by this wondrous place. But like all good things, it didn't last. I finished the burger. It was the only bright thing in my life, and it was gone. But I got reassurance that I would see this place again. I'd see this place again, and I'd once again indulge in the wisdom and beauty of this pasture of food. <laughs>